Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect. I know my skin may seem kind of weird, but I think the uh, the skin authentication servers are down. So yeah, my skin is kind of jacked up. But anyways, let's get on with today's video. All right, guys. So I was actually taking a look at my quest book, and I realized that I completely skipped over this cobblestone generator. But I was looking, and I was like, I don't remember completing this quest. Um, but it was completed. So I don't. Maybe I got this through a loot bag or something I might have got that through a loot bag I don't know if this stone um, is actually a part of the loot bag system I really would have to look at the loot bag to be able to find out um, but I went ahead and made some anyways there might be some sitting over there I don't really know uh, but this stuff is kind of weird how it works um, I wanted to go over this even though we're about to completely bypass this and we're not even going to be using this setup at all um, we're fixing to get into the auto breakers, and that's not going to be a thing that we have to deal with, is this cobblestone generator. Um, so I'm just going to grab a few blocks just to demonstrate this temporarily. And I'm going to show you what this does. So, if I kind of make a little setup here, like this, um, and let's say I run, actually this is kind of too small, just too small. Let me move this out a little bit more, and then I'll be able to show you more. I think that'll work. We'll actually use that as a block. There we go. Okay, so if I place one of these down in the center, and let's say I place some of this crystal fluid, which you get from this guy, if I place it in the corner, it's going to start producing cobblestone. Slowly, but it, it will produce cobblestone. As you can see, I just got some cobblestone. Um, and yeah, this thing will just keep going. And if I place a chest right here, or a, not a chest, a, um, a hopper, one of these wooden hoppers, and have it go into a chest, I would have a cobblestone generator. Um, I should have made this sooner. But, you know, right now, we don't really need it. So, you know what? I'm going to make it disappear. Um, but yeah, because we really, we just don't need this. Um, we have other means of getting it as of right now. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to work on getting our cobblestone generator set up today. Um, that's one of the things. It's one of the many things we're going to work on today. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get that out of the way and show you that that is possible. And we may do something with that later on. I don't, I don't know. But for right now, eh, we're okay. Um, I did want to make some tools using firewood um, one tool of course being able to get smooth stone that is awesome we would actually need another pick um, and what we'd want to do is make that pick we'd want to use the binding um, we only have a couple of firewood I'm going to use the binding for two different things um, right now we have actually more than that uh, I got to remember what ones we're going to make um, underneath the tool station. Um, this guy, the comma. I want, okay, I need three then. So I need one for my axe, one for this pick, and one for the comma. Okay, just making sure. And then that's it. That leaves me with one wood left over. Luckily, um, we don't have to bother with that. But let's go ahead and get some, get some wood in here and some cobblestone because we're going to basically remake our tools um i want well you know what i could have a pick i can you have this pick auto smelt well, there's really no reason not to so what i may be able to do is swap parts will this let me swap parts it will okay so that one is fixed um i'm going to use this one as well because we're going to have our wood set up differently and i do have my comma in here Let's go ahead, and go ahead and change the way this works as well. Um, so place this here. And I'm doing this for a reason. We're about to find out. Um, if I use this on my crops that can be cooked, such as potatoes, I get cooked potatoes. Um, and one of my Patreons uh, mentioned that to me. And yeah, that is awesome. So I'll definitely take that and use that. I wonder if this gives you bread. No, it doesn't. Cooked beetroot. Is there anything else that really gets cooked? 
rice. No, the potatoes definitely work though. So yeah, um, I'll definitely use the potatoes. And by the way, we need to get some of these. Bam. Um, this normally should work, I think, to clear out crops. That's a possibility. But yeah, that's also a good good tool to have. All of these are good tools. Um, this is a going to be a stone generator. So, bam! I'm I'm getting stone, smooth stone. Getting all that smooth stone I could ever want. Bam! As you can see, works perfect. Um, so yeah, that's that's another thing. But we're gonna go ahead and set up a cobblestone generator. We can have it set up right here, no big deal. Um, I'll just make another drawer. And we'll set up things from there. All right, so let's get this auto breaker that we now have access to started. Uh, we really don't need very much. Um, we just need some redstone, a couple sticks, and that's about it. And I think it's cobblestone. We're about to find out. Um, but here's the block breaker that's in our book. And of course, we have our pick that we need to make one redstone torch. And is this stone? That's cobblestone. So, we just need some cobblestone, and bam, we have a block breaker. Now, the block breaker, we're going to need some kind of storage. So, that's where I'm going to go with this. A regular chest. I'm just going to go ahead and make a storage drawer. And I should be able to place this guy right here. And I think that it will face the direction it's going to break, or no? Doesn't look like it's facing the direction that it needs to. So let me try and get this to place the right direction. That might pose a challenge, actually. Because I'm going to have to stand in here. Uh, let me try this. So I'll take... Um, I guess I could do it another way. For right now, I'm going to try this, though. I'm going to try and get to the other side. And we're going to try and set this up. So, I'll place my block here. I will go to the other side. I'm going to try and just break the block enough so that way I can get to it. Kind of tedious. But, it has to be done. Can I see the other block? No. Okay, so right here is where it needs to be placed. Put it right next to it. Nope. Kind of messed up there. It's okay. There we go. Now it's working. Okay. So I can place this stuff back. No big deal. And looky there. It's breaking the cobblestone. Um, and it's just placing it. So what I want it to do is place it into a drawer. Should place it into the uh, the chest or container directly behind it. So there we go. So now we have a cobblestone generator. That's just making cobblestone for us. That's all we need. Um, pretty fast, pretty efficient. Should be perfect for now. Um, and it and it beats having that other version. I know this one may be faster actually. Um, the one I showed you earlier, but this one is a lot smaller. And it pretty much cuts out the fact that I have to be over here. And I can still use this as a, st a smooth stone generator as well. But yeah, for now, this works. And I don't have to worry about it. And I'll just let it build up. And uh, I'll use the rest of this to convert over into other things. Um, like turning it into sand and stuff like that. So, this is working out perfect. Alright guys, so as we're, I was going through the quest here, I did stumble upon the structure, or structured crafter. And I was kind of reading what it had in uh, entailed for us, um, and this guy seems pretty interesting. I'm actually want to I want to take a look at it. Um, I do want to get a lever, and we are going to need a few things to make this, like sticks. What is that? Cobblestone. Cobblestone. Yes. So sticks, cobblestone, some wood, and some good stuff like that. Okay. So really not much to this. Um, we are going to need a regular crafting table. And I believe it was just sticks, right? Sticks in all the corners, and cobblestone. Completely got that wrong. Oh, and we need iron. Ah. 
Iron, iron. Speaking of iron, I am making a bunch of it, so I'm working on that as well. Okay, so the structured crafter. This guy seems pretty interesting. I was actually wondering how this thing works. Okay, so right now the arrow's pointing down. I don't think there's a way to rotate it other than placing it up against a block, right? So that is a thing. So, the way this is supposed to work is we can put inventories up to it, or we can actually build um, blocks, uh, build like shapes behind it, and it will respect those shapes for some reason. Um, or somehow. We make a chest. Actually, make two chests. We're going to see exactly how this guy works. Because um, this is a very important step, because this will be our uh, way of automating crafting material, or crafting, uh, right now. So, the back side is how this accepts inventory, or accept Im accepts inventories. Um, so, just like this, we have it set up, and we need one lever. Okay, I think I figured out the issue. Um, kind of weird, actually, how it works. Um, I did move this off of a, off the ground, because it was actually accounting for the ground. So... If all works well, this should actually compress this cobblestone. Put the lever on. And we get a piece of compressed cobblestone. Okay. So that's working. Now, can we set a chest here? That's what I'm kind of wondering. Can we have a chest here? And put cobblestone like this in it. And will this work? Okay, so we got a body part template. Don't know what that does. Okay, so... Okay, so this is for something different. So this is not working. Okay. And we got a tiny... Oh, it consumed our chest. So maybe we'd have to use a double chest. I don't know. That's, this is kind of weird, actually. I really don't, I don't exactly know what we could do with this. Um, because the tiny chest I definitely don't want. I thought it was going to actually work with our inventory. I don't know, maybe we have no use for this right now. Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments below what I could use this for. And, uh, yeah, how it's actually supposed to work, because it even consumed our chest, and it's not supposed to do that, I don't think. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something to uh, look forward to. So I'm kind of going through the automation tab. Um, we are completing a few things. Um, and we are getting no items. So yeah. <laughs> These bags are not worth anything, to be honest. There's like nothing in them. Um, but let's see. Uh, some of the other things that I really want to work on today is getting a passive mob farm. Um, I'm going to have to extend a platform out with some dirt or grass. Um, and that's going to be pretty useful. Um, and this right here will automatically breed them. That's going to be something I want to work towards. Um, a watering can is pretty nice, but I also looked at this. So there's snad, and red snad, and soul snad. All of which are good stuff. The soul snad is what I'm pretty, I'm really interested in. Um, I actually don't know. Okay, so it's four into one, and it does it, this does four times as fast on production. And then you have your regular sand, and this is going to be sugarcane. All right, so let's go ahead and work towards upgrading this bad boy. So, this guy has been pretty lame, um, but we want to get some upgrades on this thing, and we can do that fairly easy, as long as we have some iron. So that's why I was mass producing a bunch of iron. Um, I still have tons over there that needs to be processed. Um, but I have a bunch of iron now, and I can do that with pretty much any ore. Um, I find it is very easy once you have um, that fuel set up. As you can see, I already have a bunch here. Bam, this is just time it takes. Um, and I, I need to upgrade that. Uh, I will do that eventually. But let's go ahead and upgrade our combustion. Just so we can get uh, parts to be used in it. So, let's go back to Sky Resources. And we could go under to the combustion, iron combustion heater. This is a pretty nice uh, combustion heater. And we're going to need this. So, there's your iron, iron heat component. And basically, you just surround the heat component with this. 
and you get an iron combustion heater. Um, this will help the efficiency of this casing. So we have this casing, which is pretty bad, but we should be able to upgrade that efficiency. So if we take a look at it, um, it's 40, is that, is that right? Yeah, 48 on the efficiency scale. Um, not the best in the world, but um, it does have that high output, um, but we only need that for certain items. So what I can do is just swap the case out. I do have an iron casing in here. So if you use an iron casing, and we use that with this, now we get a 1500 on the heat scale. I think there is other frames that aren't as heavy on the efficiency, but still produce quite a bit. So this one does 3000. Is there any others that are better? So the enderium cases, casings, of course, are. Just wondering if there's any more that is almost around that. The osmium casing. So osmium might be something that we want to jump towards. So this does almost as much. Uh, almost as much. And this is not bad. Making osmium, we should uh, we should be able to make this. So it is clay with blaze powder. And we'll get that dust. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and make some of that. Uh, I'll make some clay, and we'll get that blaze powder going, and see what we can do. Um, but honestly, I want to get this kind of upgraded so it's it's automatic. Um, and to do that, let's take a look at our quests. Under the automation, we have the quick dropper. So we need to make a quick dropper. And I think it's actually a part of this. There it is. It is. So we have iron surrounded by glowstone with a dropper, which is cobblestone and redstone. And of course we're gonna need some iron. And I'm guessing this goes right on the top. That's what I'm going to guess. So let's go ahead and make this guy. Lovely dropper. Right? I did the dropper backwards, didn't I? Completely upside down. Um, and then we should be able to make this thing. So there we go. Quick dropper. Um, I'm hoping it goes on top of this and we'll replace this, right? Okay, so now we have this set up. Um, okay, so I hope... Is that multi-black ready? Yes. We just need some fuel. We need to give this some wood. This does have a high efficiency. And uh, the efficiency, efficiency slash production. Um, I almost feel like you get more whenever you use these casings, but that could just be me. So what I could do is when I drop that in there, of course I'm going to pick it up because I have this on me. But if I put this in here, it drops it down. And then I get my, I get my rewards. Um, there's also another thing that we can put, I think, underneath here. I'm pretty sure, or to the side, or something like that, that returns our output. But with, I mean, just with this, it makes it a lot easier. Um, we could have that going in there, which, of course, me standing here doesn't work. Put it that there, and then I can collect it, and go on with my day. Instead of just going, walking up there, dropping in over and over again. Which is not fun. So let me get that osium made. I do need to get some dirt. That is some of the stuff that I need to make. Also, I need a lot of dirt, so that's going to be something that I'm going to be working on here in a minute. And uh, get, also getting some clay, so I'll be right back. Alright, so as I've been doing a lot of crazy work, um, I went ahead and got this guy running. And like I said, it's not like it's difficult, it's just a lot of grinding um, to get these materials. As you can see, I really pushed to get as much of this alchemical dust as possible. I have a bunch of it here, um, and this stuff is awesome because... Uh, it means it means you have to use fewer materials. So I was making osmium, and I was able to get quite a bit of osmium um, with very little material. Even though I have a ton of clay and stuff like that, um, it just I didn't need that much, and it produces it very fast. But after doing all of this, spending all this time doing this, I did notice that this guy was kind of spewing over, um, and I think you can shut this off with a redstone signal. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wire it up so that way I can do it uh, with a controller 
Um, and that's where this quest comes in handy, right here. The Redstone Remote. So I hope it's not that expensive. Um, so it's a Redstone Remote from Random Things. It looks like it's got a bunch of iron, actually. Whoa. And then whatever this thing is. So yeah, this guy is pretty expensive, but I think we can manage. Um, and we definitely need it. Uh, boy, do we need it. So I do have like a surplus of uh, iron right here that I could also go through, and I have a stack and a half that I need to process, but I think we have enough to not have to worry about that. So let's gather the few materials that we need. I know we need some obsidian. I'm glad I actually made some extra obsidian. So let's go ahead and try and make this. So I think we're gonna need, what, three redstone torches? Just right off the bat. And then we can make all of these different sections. So there's that. Um, and then we need these guys, which require lapis. Which actually, let's take a look at lapis real quick. Because I completely forgot how to make la Oh, we have to get that from the dirty... Do I have dirty lapis laying around? I do. I have a bunch of it, actually. Holy moly. Didn't know I had that much. So yeah, just... <laughs> just get some of this. Be sure to put that back. And let's go ahead and make this thing. So we need a stable... What is that? Stable ender pearl. And then make the uh, remote itself. Now the remote does not function by itself. We are going to need to get into random things. And find that blueprint. This guy right here. Uh, I think it's the... Is it called a piston finder? Yes, it is. It's called a piston finder. I wonder exactly what this entails. Purple? Of course it's purple. So we need some red dye and some lapis. Guess I need more than that. I need four. Honestly, I could do it off of two because it does give you double. Oh well. We'll have some to store for later. So there's that. Alright, and a piece of paper. We actually need to get a paper tree made pretty soon. That will definitely help us out in the long run. Okay, so apparently I can just click on this, so that's selected. I guess if you highlight off of it, it doesn't work. And then this guy has an inventory. You can put it in there. And we can turn the redstone on or off, right? Not sure. Um, it tells me exactly what block I'm hooked to. And let's take a look real quick. Okay. So it says you can bind the uh, piston filter to a block and then put it, or it says then put them in a redstone remote to wirelessly give the block a redstone signal. Does it hold the signal? It's kind of weird. I hope I didn't waste all of this for nothing. So maybe it's like a just it just gives it a signal. Ah, that's kind of not what I'm wanting. I'm wanting a lever. That might be better. <laughs> I thought it was. I mean, I I didn't want to overcomplicate it, but I, I guess I did. Um, yeah. It just we just need a lever. That's all we need. So, anyways, I'm going to place a lever here. But I I really wanted to try that. Maybe that could be used for something else. I'm just not. Just not seeing it yet, but I think this will work. Thank you, and it stopped. Okay. So, yeah, I just don't don't really know. Um, I'm guessing if I try this now, uh, -uh it doesn't work. I'm kind of confused. I thought maybe this was for this, so you could shut it on, turn it on and off. This doesn't seem to have an on and off button. It just seems to have a toggle. Not even a toggle, it's just a on, just one pulse button. Kind of weird. Okay, so so that's done. Um, well, we have a lot I'm trying to get done. 
Um, and as w I'm really just waiting for Osium. I have tons of that ready to go. Look at that, man. This is great. Um, I have so much stuff I kind of need to clear out of here. Because we just did all that. So yeah, we have a bunch of resources that I'm kind of keeping an eye out for. But this, man. We're going to have a pretty nice frame in like no time. So... I'm using the uh, iron hammer, by the way. It actually goes a little bit, just a little bit faster than normal um, speed. And I think this is going to be the best way to do this. Um, using the uh, crusher and everything like that, so you're not just getting straight ingots. I know getting straight ingots is a good thing, but this is a lot better. You don't have to worry about the glass. So, pretty interesting how this is working. Alright, so to be able to get that osmium and actually use it to turn it into plates, we can't use the magnet craft. We actually use, have to use our crucible. So if we pour this cast out, we can actually get a simple cast here. Look at that. A cast for our plates. Perfect. Um, so with that osmium, which I do have cooking over here, we can start to get our first plates. Um, if I do remember, our plates, how much does it cost? I don't remember. I don't know if it's two. I think it's one. One to one. So one ingot of osmium equals one plate, and we only need, I think, eight plates. So if we look at sky, we can find our casing, which is the osmium casing, and we see the osmium plates. So yeah, we just need the osmium plates and osmium. So yeah, pretty simple there. Um, so we need, uh, what is it, eight? Yeah, we need eight osmium plates. And I think we could have this pretty easy. Yeah, it uses only one per. So I'll keep that running. So that's three. So there we go. One more set, and it should be good to go along with that. So there's our other two. Um, honestly, I could have... A, I wish I could have a hopper up into the front, but I can't, sadly. Um, somebody also mentioned... Um, that I can run this clay barrel directly into the porcelain casting bin to be able to get that. And you definitely can. That is something you definitely do. And, uh, yeah. So look at there. So I can throw my other two in here. And that should give me enough osmium plates to be able to make that high efficiency version of this casing. So yeah, this casing is like, blah. 40% efficiency? No way. We're going to bump that up to, I think, 100% efficiency, plus whatever the iron um, actually gives us. So we're about to be cooking here, man. We're about to have some really good machines, and uh, making ores and stuff like that is going to become trivial um, since we have this farm. And I think in the next episode, we might focus on getting this automated some, some way. I don't exactly know how we're going to automate this. Um, automate the farm efficiently, but we're going to try. We're going to try and do our best. There is a loot bag opener that we now have access to, so we'll have to work with that. But uh, until then, I think, you know, I think we're going to be good. This is going to make my life a lot easier, having this machine. So there's our osmium casing. And that means I can get rid of this. Osmium casing, down you go. And this combustion right here. Perfect. Look at that. 3,003. Good efficiency there. Um, we have 156% uh, on the efficiency, 100% on the speed, 150, 156 on the efficiency, so it's not going to consume that much fuel at all. Lovely. Man, I really like that. And we can go over here and grab me a stack of logs, get that converted over and I'm really just using wood to fuel this, so. Still using fuel. Or still still using wood. Which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, gunpowder is something that we're definitely going to have to work towards getting. Um, it just kind of becomes a jumbled mess when I start killing all these mobs. Um, I'm actually out of gunpowder, so that's why I'm going to have to focus on this. And I was kind of looking to see maybe if there's anything here. Can we still not touch that? Yeah, we can't. Um, so one of our future quests is going to be obtaining um, a stack of pretty much all of the reliquary uh, drops. So that's going to be something we're going to have to focus on, like, really hard. We're going to focus on that, get those completed. 
If we take a look at our quests and our under automation, you can see that underneath here, I'm assuming that these are going to unlock this section. And we're going to get to all of this, believe me. It's going to take some time, but we're going to get through all of this and um, work our way through this quest book. I can see the next quest that we're going to have is this right here. This is basically build a mob farm and and also a regular farm to be able to get cactus and sugarcane. But like I mentioned, sugarcane is pretty hard to get. I don't even know if I don't know if there's any other way other than uh, than life infusion to get that. So that's something that we're going to have to work really hard towards um, and be able to do. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. Don't get don't get me wrong. This is where my gameplay and some other people's gameplay that started around the same time, such as System Collapse and Ector, um, this is where our gameplay are going to be splitting drastically. So my gameplay is going to be um, completely different because I'm working towards different tasks. Um, and my, my playthrough is going to really push towards getting every single mod covered, um, simply because I'll have to. Um, I'm going to have to dive very deep. I'm going to have to complete everything in Batania. And then, on top of that, go into the magic and look, I have to get all of these runes and turn them in and lose them. So, um, all of those runes I won't be able to use. Um, getting the basic factory up and running. A basic factory um, is something else I'm going to have to do. So, if we take a look at... I think that's an actual mod. Yeah, this mod right here. So, um, getting involved with this mod which is something I've never used before, factory tech. Um, pretty interesting. I don't exactly know how it works, but it is a part of uh, of this mod. And I think it is functional over decorative. Pretty sure, yeah, there is like mechanics that these things do. Um, I just, I'm not very familiar with it. It's something I'm gonna have to learn. So we're gonna learn that together and we're gonna get through this. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, as always, please remember to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video a thumbs up, man. I really appreciate it when you guys do that. I like seeing all those thumbs up, or all those thumbs up on the video. That really makes me feel good about what I've done today. And as always, thanks for watching. Let's go.